Think Coke overdose and you'll probably think of him, but in today's case, it was Coca-Cola. A mum of three died after drinking nearly two litres of Coke plus energy drinks per day. 34-year-old Amy Louise Thorpe from Invercargill, New Zealand was also 15 weeks pregnant when she was found unresponsive and face down on her bed on December 4th in 2018. She suffered an epileptic seizure and died. And according to findings released by coroner David Robinson, her excessive divulgence on caffeinated fizzy drinks may have been the reason why. The inquest heard that Thorpe would guzzle down two litres of coke and between 500 millilitres to one litre of energy drinks per day. Thorpe, who had a history of epilepsy and other conditions, found that her pregnancy increased her seizure frequency to about once a week. According to the New Zealand Herald, Thorpe was seen by neurologist Graham Hammond Took in November 2018, who reported the epilepsy diagnosis was uncertain but treated her on the basis of that diagnosis. He encouraged her to try another anti-epileptic medication, however, she was reluctant to change her drugs or undergo further tests. And just weeks later, she was found unconscious and face down on her bed with her torso leaning over the bedside cabinet. Paramedics desperately tried to revive her, but sadly, they were unable to save her life. Her partner, who was unnamed in the report, described her as being addicted to caffeinated drinks. Confusingly, when the coroner sought advice from Forbes's neurologist about the significance of caffeine in this case, the Associated Professor reported that studies suggested drinking caffeine increased seizure susceptibility, while in some cases, chronic use of caffeine may protect against seizures. Dr. Hammond Took said, In the case of Miss Thorpe, I think it is possible that excessive caffeine contributed to poor seizure control. In 2010, there was another incident of a woman dying from a coke overdose from the very same city in New Zealand. The woman, Natasha Harris, drank up to eight litres of coke a day for several years before her death. At the time, Coca-Cola said that it could not be proven that drinking large quantities of the drink contributed to her death. A company spokesperson said that they were disappointed that the coroner had chosen to focus on the combination of excessive consumption of Coca-Cola and other health and lifestyle factors as the probable cause of her death. So, the only thing we can take from this is everything in moderation. If you want more Tomo in your life, Click the subscribe and bell button so you get notified when a new video is up. Thanks for watching Tomo News.